Hey everybody, I am in Toronto, Canada at my mom and daddy house and speaking of daddy, I'm going to be doing a video with him. My dad answers your sex and love and relationship advice question. Like you fart in your house, down the street knows, hey look, Brian just farted. In the comment section below, I'm going to shoot it today. So write any question that you possibly have with my dad to answer. It can be silly, it can be serious, whatever's clever. And then this is also the last week of my Facebook live stream on facebook.com slash MTV. We're talking about orgasm today. We're talking about the VMAs, how to prepare for the big night. I mean, not just like the big night, but like your own, you know, big night. <laughs> and now back to our regularly scheduled program. We are getting hella excited for the VMAs and as stars are prepping for the big show, we have our outfits picked out too, right Josh? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm just primping over here. We're giving you guys some tips on how to make sure you are ready and relaxed, have a good time before and after. Uh, an eye mask? No, pillow talk. Oh. For our evening, we have our dress. Check. We got the herd in. Oh, check. We got that cute bag. Oh, double check. And now before we head over to the big event, we got one more stop to make to pick up some. Condoms. Condoms? That was we're, a line for us. We're gonna go pick up condoms? We're picking up condoms. Uh, I mean, I just always feel so awkward when I have to go condom shopping. You know, I feel like a secret agent. Yeah, we're clear. Going in. No, don't freak out and don't feel embarrassed. You should feel confident that you are taking care of your sexual health. Now that you're ready for the big event, the last thing I like to do, if I have some extra time, is, you know, write some post-sex talk. <clears throat> I like your booty. And I like your thighs. You got me mesmerized. I mean, obviously the best thing that we all want to hear after good sex is, you are the best that I ever mm. had. Mm, but if they you. aren't, don't lie. I like to use the compliment sandwich. I say what I liked about the sex, what needs improving, and then finally what I love. Now, pillow talk is like the first coherent words that come out of your mouth after sex. I gotcha. think it can be a fun thing as well, too. You suck at sex. It's yeah. something you should not say. You got somewhere to go from there, only yeah. up. In a recent study, more than half the people surveyed admitted that they don't talk to their partners about sex. Not contraceptions, not performance, nothing. What's your pillow talk like? I like the whole compliment sandwich thing. I like to compliment them on like the performance and what I liked. And then I ask them, of course, what they liked about my performance. And then from there, we'll kind of talk about what we can work on. How else can I fulfill your fantasy? Because that's what I'm there for, fulfilling fantasies. My pillow talk, I try my best not to be a robot because my natural thing is to be like, at minute 12, you did this. Wow. Um, I'm very perceptive, but I try to keep it relaxed and casual and fun because people want to like enjoy the conversation. When primping for one of the biggest nights of the years, like the VMAs, mm -hmm. make sure you are prepared for what follows. Use a condom every time. Responsible as f Also, the rest of the week schedule, Friday I'm uploading a hair video because um, it's been a while and I have new hair now and I thought you guys might like to know about it. Also that video features dormtainment and then Sunday is the dormtainment sex pretty video that I have teased a long time ago. It's finally gonna be released and that's the schedule. 